trying our very best, Taylor. It's not quick work trying to track through this block, but we're still on the tracks. This pathway that leads in front of me that runs like this is where they've been walking. So we managed to find the tracks again and they're kind of going up and down and all over the place and which is fairly typical for lions as they move around through these blocks sometimes they'll bump into prey animals and they'll spread out a little bit and then come back together so it takes a bit of time to just kind of decode where exactly they're going the problem is is we're now starting to get right towards the fire break so if they've crossed over the back of my tracks I'm not going to be very impressed with them if they went into the north so hopefully they've laid down somewhere close by at least we still have their tracks and at least we're still able to follow although it's getting rather dense and thick now just trying to see they still head down that way along the pathway so let's go around Seb and try cut that pathway off It's oof, starting to get quite thick in here now, which is going to be a little tough, but I'll just try and break through this side. I still don't see any heads popping up as we're going, so I'm not sure we're that close because... Do you see them, Seb? Yes! <laughs> well, that was good. So I can just see the mane as Seb did of one of the big males. So I reckon the rest of the pride must be somewhere here as well. Right, let's see. Now where is going to be the best way to get to you guys? Let's have a look. So in case you're wondering what we've seen and why we kind of celebrate, the lions aren't just on the other side of this thicket. And I'm just trying to get around towards where they are. Um, where is one of the males is right here I don't know where the rest of them are so Mfumo is here with us I'm sure the rest are somewhere in this general vicinity because his tracks were with the rest of the tracks and this is the best we're gonna be able to get for now the sort of view is well the pathway towards where he is is not easy I'll try to get round towards his face just now but you can see he's kind of looking over his shoulder so I wonder if the rest aren't just spread out somewhere here and lying down but at least we found one of the Birmingham's so if we don't find the rest of the Nkuma Pride at least one of them is here which is good news and he's looking full and well fed and healthy now hopefully he's not going to get into his habit of dropping darts because in Fulmo likes to pass wind. It's quite funny, Taylor and I were talking about this the other day. Every time we're with him, he seems to emanate a foul-smelling gas that comes out and after feeding especially. So hopefully he's going to behave himself. Last night he didn't. Last night he was letting go of a few sort of bombs and hopefully this morning things will be a little bit better. But he's looking magnificent he's in really good condition his body health is good you can see there's no visible scars or scratches around his body or his back in his hip area so he really is looking very good and he's recovered fully from any of those facial injuries that he had some of you may remember last year he had that big hole in his face and i know a lot of you were worried that he wasn't going to come right because there was maggots and all kinds of things that were feeding off that wound but you'll see when he hopefully turns to face us that he's absolutely fine. Seb, I think let's try and just squeeze past and get to the front of him so that we can use the light in our advantage. Just careful there, Seb. Lazmai, you say he's so handsome even with his big head. Well, <laughs> I'm sure he'll appreciate that. He seems to not be taking... With his... Sorry, make him go. Oh, his bed head, not his big head. Ah, okay, yes. Well, he, I suppose he does have a bit of it. He's got a few new scars on his face, that's for sure. Those are not, were not there last night when I saw him. So he's obviously had a little go with either the females or one of the males. You see a fresh little cut between the eyes there. Those weren't there last night. Were they there last night, Seb? I don't remember them. Yeah. So you can see two claw marks right in the front of his face. So I... I wonder if maybe him and one of his brothers didn't have a little go at each other last night. We know that there was a second Birmingham with the Pride, so maybe that's what happened is they had a little altercation and that's maybe why he's off the back. The rest of the Pride has, might have carried on a little bit and moved off, so we'll try and see if we can't find them. But if he's here, I would imagine the rest of the Pride can't be too far away at all. Shame boy, did you get a little smack to the face? 
it's hard being a male lion. Everybody always thinks that male lions have it easy because they're big and powerful, but it's not at all. The females and even the males will fight with each other quite a bit, and they often scarred up, particularly the males. And poor Mfomo seems to have had it the worst out of all the brothers. He's got so many scars on his face now. But it adds to his character. He's almost got this sort of hardened look about him. And now that his mane's starting to grow a lot more than what we see on the other Birminghams, he's starting to get these kind of big, fluffy mane, and those scars just adds to the whole appearance and makes him look a lot more sort of hardcore. Exquisite Bliss, you say his mane looks like it's on fire. Well, the light this morning is just beautiful. We couldn't ask for any better light than that. Look at that. Gold, gold, gold color on him. And he's still got quite a ginger mane in comparison to his brothers. So Nena and Suku and Tinyo all have a lot darker manes, particularly around the chest area and then over the top of the head. You can see his has got no black on the top yet but all the others will have patches of black on the sides and the top so he's is developing and getting bigger and darker by the day there's a little bit of black i suppose on the mohawk but it's not really much just yet um and is getting bigger and darker by the day shame have you got a sore paw there as well now there's a little bit of a bite mark on the paw as well Alicia, are you wondering if Mfumo is the one that tolerates the Cubs so well? Well, I know that Tinyo is often quite aggressive, but I've seen him around the Cubs and actually feeding right next to a Cub and not really being too aggressive to the Cubs at all. Whereas Mfumo, I've actually seen him completely relaxed. Yes, in fact, last night, remember, Seb, we had one of the Cubs coming up and rubbing its face on Mfumo, and he actually groomed the Cub back. So it's he does have a high tolerance for them, it seems. I, obviously, we haven't seen any new Cubs with them recently, but... With the older ones, he seems to be completely tolerant of them. He lets them come and sort of nuzzle up to him and, and see him. Oh, you've got a nice bite mark on your paw. You see the paw there, Seb? Now they, oh, no, he's just folded it over again. But he had it open, and there's definitely a, a mark there of some sort. So I don't know if he's maybe ripped out a claw or if there's a bite to his foot. And that's probably why he's grooming. There we go. You can see it. Yeah, that's a nice big wound that he's got there. So I wonder if it's not... A bite and there's another one on the uh, on the top side so let's see if he's going to get up and move he seems to be very aware and i can hear franklin's alarm calling not too far from us i'm sure the rest of them are not too far and i wonder if he's not going to go that way i'd imagine he's going to have a slight limp now with that wound that's going to be a little raw and a little sore but it's nice and clean he's there's no sort of infection in there or anything and and i would imagine it would have happened last night but he'll be okay it's much harder than everyone would think they are able to overcome these wounds quite a bit. Now, Patty, you wondering if lions could die from infection? Yes, they could. If they don't get nutrients and water and they don't keep that wound clean, then infection can take place. But actually, with lions, they really are quite hard animals. They are animals that are able to deal with a lot. And I've seen lions with dislocated hips with massive cuts all over them, big bite marks through their paws that eventually come right. It just takes them a bit of time. They've got to kind of hobble their way around and it's a bit like shadow to some degree we saw her with that injury up front and where she couldn't even put weight on it and she really battled and kind of limped around and then yesterday we saw she's starting to put weight and slowly but surely she seems to be coming right so it's the same thing with him that wound's going to take a bit of time to heal and it actually looks like the claw has almost come out although it's a bit behind there so there's what is it is it just a hole that he's got there I don't know, he might have lost the claw, but you can see the flies are landing on it already, which is going to drive him crazy. But it looks like that dew claw, so that claw that sits slightly higher, might have been ripped out, which it does happen from time to time, and it will grow back if it is the claw system. And he'll be in a little bit of discomfort, but eventually it will heal up and he'll be okay. The nice thing about that is that wound looks nice and clean, is that it's still pink, healthy flesh, so he shouldn't have too many issues with it. And as long as he keeps grooming it and makes sure that he keeps it out of the mess of carcasses and things like that, he should be just fine. But it explains why he's maybe behind everybody else. He's just decided to rest up. The sun is coming out now. It's going to be a warm day. And so he's decided just to stay s sitting here. And maybe the rest of the pride has moved off a little bit with the other Birmingham boy. And he'll catch up tonight with a series of contact calls. He's definitely aware of something because he keeps putting his head up towards that direction. 
So Rebecca, are you wondering if Mfumo is the most docile of all the Birmingham boys? Rebecca, t to be honest, they were all pretty docile. I haven't really had too many issues from any of them. In fact, I've never had any ag ag aggressive encounter with, with any of the Birmingham boys. Um, and Fumo seems to be super chilled. I, I've seen him kind of with the Cubs and with the pride and never seems to be too aggressive to even them. So it's difficult to say. Also, we've spent so little time with the Birmingham boys over the last year. It's hard to know what their demeanors are like from a day-to-day -day basis we really don't get to follow them enough every day to see who's more aggressive than the other ones but I mean Tinyot's tends to show a lot more sort of growling aggression around carcasses and those kind of things from what I've seen but it would be interesting I would I would love to spend more time with all four of them and, and get to know them a little bit better unfortunately you know they've got such a big territory now that they seem to roam around all over the place and it makes it very difficult for us to actually get to know them that well because they tend to just be fleeting glimpses a day here a day there and then we don't see them for three four weeks so Hopefully they'll spend a little bit more time here now with the new Cubs. Maybe that will keep them Fumo and, and Tinio in this area. We know that they like to spend a lot of time with the Nkuma Pride. So I'm hoping that with the Cubs of the Nkuma Pride being here that these guys decide to stick around as well. But lots of grooming going on. I'm sure the flies are driving him mad. One real human, you wondering how serious their battles could become. So I would imagine you're talking about within the pride itself. But if not, then as serious as you can imagine. I mean, lions will kill each other over territory. And I've seen male lions fighting, and it's quite something to watch. And even as coalition members, they will go after each other from time to time. And I've seen coalition members, the Majingalans, fight with one another. Um, the you know, I've seen the Hilda's Rock males down in the south fight with each other, so they do do it from time to time. Oh, there's another line right there. <laughs> there's a female that's just in front. That's why he's perked up so quickly. So there she goes. She's walking in front of us. Well, just to the left of us. So the rest of the pride is actually right here. I can now see a couple other tummies and various other things. So the Inkuma pride is here with Mfumo, which is good news. So we'll go and have a look at them. They're behind that thicket. That's why we didn't see them, is it's very difficult. You can see, look at how she camouflages behind there. But Mfumo definitely watched her and she didn't go unnoticed to him. She's looking around, but I think this is where they're resting. Like I say, I can see one more by the looks of its tummy just in the distance there as well. So I think the rest must be here, or close by at least. Yeah, she's just starting to come out a little bit now, which is good. Are you going to lie down there? And I wonder if Mfumo is going to get up and go after her. But look at that camouflage. Look at how the face just disappears in that grass. You would never know that there's a lion there if you drove past. But you can just see every now and then the ear flick or a tail move and just goes to show. Here comes Mfumo limping along. Shame buddy, is that foot of yours a little tender? Now, he wants to come round. Oh, there we go. Anna Marie, you're wondering if this claw injury could affect his hunting abilities. Anna Marie, no, not really. When they start hunting and they're chasing things, adrenaline is going to pump through his veins and he'll forget completely about that. It'll be sore afterwards, but at the time of his hunting, he'll be just fine. So it's not too bad an injury. And you can see, look, he's walking already. He's, not, he's limping a little bit and he's a bit ginger on it, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's not anything like what we saw with Shadow yesterday. He's walking a lot better than even she is with that injury. So, yeah. Um, He'll be fine. He's, that's not too serious, and, and that's part of a male lion's life. They often have these kind of injuries around the legs and face, and he'll be just fine. You can see he's now that he's starting to walk, and it gets rid of the bit of the stiffness. He'll start walking a little bit better. But look how beautiful that light is on him. And he's making his way towards that female, slowly but surely. Or are you going to decide, is that where you want to lie down? Okay, let's go forward and just see if we can't find the rest of the pride here and we'll see where they're all lying. And now, I'm just going to try and get round.